Hi everybody, how you all going? It's Frank Felvo here coming from Melbourne, Australia. It's just um, me and my production crew of one. Um, it's really only just me, but shh, don't tell anybody. We're going to be doing um, a song uh, for beginners today. Um, this song has actually got a, a very fast uh, finger picking technique, but I'll actually endeavor to do this song just doing basic strumming one at a time This was written by Fred Neal in the 60s for Harry Nielsen It's called everybody's talking and it was done for the midnight uh, Cowboy film, okay Now if you don't particularly like this song guys um, just have a listen to it. I'd like us all to learn it. What we're trying to do in this particular song is to force our fingers to get into position very quickly because the changes are on every beat. So it forces us to get strength in our fingers and to change our, our fingers and get them into position very quickly. And what we've got here is a technique of voicings around a chord progression. This is around a D major chord. There's five voicings in this particular song five voicings around that D, and it's 70% of the song. So if you get these voicings, it's a fantastic technique for us to get down as beginners learning the guitar. And also, if some of us want to actually learn to write songs, this technique of doing voicings around a chord progression is critical for actually writing songs, guys. So it's got seven chords, okay? I'm not going to be able to go over the actual Travis finger picking. That's for more for the advanced players. Um, I'll keep it fairly simple, the strumming, but I want us to actually get this voicing. Let's go and get Marilyn over there. She's sitting over there very, very patiently, uh, waiting for her turn. She can't wait to get in front of you guys and show off. Come on, Marilyn. Here she is. She wants to show off her magic curves. Okay, what we're going to do, guys, everybody's talking. Harry Nilsson in the 60s. Guitar nicely tuned up, guys. Okay. On the recording, I believe it's on the second fret, okay? Put the capo on the second fret, okay? Have it nice and straight, okay? Everything's gonna be relative to the capo. It is on the second fret, guys. Let's go over these chords. We're gonna do the D, the normal D on the second. Hit it from the fourth down. Oops. Okay, the D there. Hit it from the fourth down. The next voicing around the D major progression, which is what I said, is a D major seven. Do a mini bar there on the G, B and E. Hit it from the fourth down, okay? Try and have that little mini bar from that crease, okay? And then at the back, put pressure on it directly below it and have that nice and clearly. D major seven, then lift up and do a D six, okay? That's the D, lift off that third, and then we've got a D6. See that, those two pressure points, okay? Okay? Then we just go back to that D major 7. That's the first part of the D progression. The next part is the, the D with slash E. He lifts the first finger from the G up one to the fourth on that D. That's an E note. So we hit it from the fourth down. That's called a D slash E, one of these slash chords, okay? The next one we do is we lift that second finger up to the B string, okay? This one is called an A7. We did that in breathe, okay? So hit that from the fourth down. So we go from there to there. Then lift up that second. That's our next chord, that's our A9, okay? Just there, okay? Just got that pressure point there, guys. Then we go back to the A7. So we just go up and down. Just keep it very simple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what we're doing, just go, keep it going up and down. Now I am gonna record this song. If I've got enough space here, I'll put it at the end of this. If not, I'll do a second par. Now, my, my way of playing this is going to have some par mutes and some pauses. Okay, now when we present songs to the public, we don't play songs just up and down. You guys are learning. I want us to get strength in our fingers. Change fast. Okay, guys? 
um, and to get these voicings, guys. I know you guys can do it, okay? Just learn this song even if you don't like it, okay? I get 50 requests a month, guys, so it's impossible. There's only just one of me to be able to get to every song, okay? So just do that. Then in the chorus, in this song, everybody's talking, goes to G. Normal G, keep the first finger free. I've said it a million times, it's critical because a lot of times after the G, often we've got to do an F and we've got to keep our finger, keep, keep that first finger free so we can go into the F. Okay, I'm going, then, then A7, where the sun is shining, then back to that voicing around the D. I'm going where the weather suits my clothes. Now on that part, on the G and the A7, it's two measures, okay? Just a little bit longer, doesn't change on every beat. It's like, I'm going where the weather suits my clothes. Okay? So keep this very simple, just up and down, get the voicings, get our fingers a lot stronger, guys. I know you guys can do it. Um, listen to me, I encourage you, play along with me, guys. Just get your time, get your tempo down. I do the strumming a little bit different, but I just want you guys, just for now that are learning, just up and down, all right, guys? Keep on punching. Learn Everybody's Talking. This is a fantastic song by um, that was sung by Harry Nielsen, and it was written by Fred Neil in the late 60s. Keep on punching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.